Hey there Titans, in this video I'll show you how to set values or multiple values on checkbox, radio button and drop down. Alright, so let's uh, throw a drop down in here and we'll add a checkbox as well. And we will give it some values. So that will be first, second and third. Remove the other. One thing to notice here, when you pass in the values, you want it to be the advanced value of the drop down or the pick list um, and the checkbox as well. So we're gonna head to the checkbox. We'll do the same first, second, and third. We don't need the other. And in the advanced, make sure your advanced values, these are what you need to pass. Okay save this and what we want to do we have a condition button over here so you can run it off any condition on this um, particular scenario I'm doing it on a condition button and what we want to do is set values so let's say this one is just a drop down without multiple selection so we're gonna start with first set value to first and in the checkbox let's do first semicolon and second so whenever you do multiple values, you gotta put the semicolon between the values. Let's refresh this guy. And I'll click on the condition. So we have the first for the drop down and first and second for the checkbox. Another way to do it is set it from JavaScript. So let's grab the field ID. So this one is FLD41. And what I will do is allow multiple selection. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'll head back to my condition, remove this, ignore it, execute JS. My field ID is FLD41, and this is just a standard JavaScript form Titan function. You can see all of our functions in the JS function index, and we're using FT set value by ID. And here you have more control. You can grab values from other fields. You can run logic on it. In this scenario, I'm just going to do it very simple. We're going to set the second and third on the pick list on the drop down and we'll hit save refresh this click the button and we have second and third selected and for the checkbox first and second selected and the same way it will work for radio buttons and etc and this is how it's done